Welcome to another episode of Buy Stuff, Make Stuff. Uh, today we're looking at installing a pressure sensor for the automatic tool changer on our 1100. Uh, after a couple of um, low air pressure incidents, I uh, decided it would be worthwhile to have. To put it in, pretty simple. Uh, take the piece, just splice it into the, the air hose as per the page 12 of the automatic tool changer manual. Um, the biggest pain will be pulling the machine out and accessing the back. So um, let's get started. All right, we got the back cover off and here's what we see. Looks like we need to splice into this. Uh, before you do that, make sure that the air is turned off, and I've done that already, so I'm just going to cut that right there, slide this out. Uh, looks like it doesn't matter which way it goes because it's the pressure down to there is how it senses it. Slide that in. Slide this in, and then plug the cord in right there. All right, that should do it. All right, well, let's put this back together. Thanks for joining us today on Buy Stuff, Make Stuff and uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments uh, and please subscribe if you uh, found this beneficial. Uh, see you next time.